Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a little cute project that I thought of. I just thought it'd be really cute. As you guys know, Serena B created the mini pocket letters. Um, I have a video that I just, well, that I did for Halloween where I did the mini pocket letters. They're super cute. I'll even link her video in the description box where she shows how to make one. I had a while ago <laughs> made a envelope or a, um, envelope flipbook tutorial that I'll link in the description box. Um, it seemed to help a lot of people and I'm really happy, you know, that, that people like the tutorial. So, um, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description box as well. Um, but I figured what I could do is kind of, I don't know, take Serena's idea of a mini snail mail and apply it to my flipbook tutorial. So, um, this is what I created. It is the cutest little thing. Oh my gosh. So it's a three by four um, mini envelope uh, flip book. So you can either dress it up like I did for this one. I'll show you guys the inside or you can just leave it, you know, with just the envelopes and dress up the outside and that's that. So both of these have goodies. There's no letter or mail tag, but of course if you wanted to add one you could. So first, um, I created this this one using the Hot Cocoa Collection, and this one is very plain. Um, you know, it's small in the way that maybe you wouldn't want to, like, embellish it too much. But, you know, it's, I mean, it's pretty cute anyway. It's just, like, mini envelopes, and it's just really adorable. So, um, for this first one, I just packaged up these little red enamel dot, uh, hearts that I got from Amador. Thank you, Amador. And I just, you know, um, cut out some of the paper from the collection and then just, you know, made my own little backing for it, I guess you could say, like my own little packaging. Um, I have these little wood veneers. This is cute if you want to share. You don't have a lot you want to share or for something small like this. Um, to dress it up, like if you were just to throw these two tags in there, it's like, oh, you know, that's nice. Thanks, two tags. But if you really like want to dress it up and make it cute and put a backing and stuff on it, and it just, I don't know, presentation to me is everything. So I just think it makes it that much more special. So I have the little um, wood print paper um, and I have these little wood veneers on it. And then this is just, uh, I did the same thing except this is little um, enamel dots, like stars. I'm from Queen and Company. And I mean, I put very tiny, tiny little bit of tape where they could actually use the card as well. And like I said, you could do like a little mail tag, you know, one of these, your letter, whatever you want. And it just folds up like that. Really cute. Just like the um, other uh, envelope flip books that I've done. I haven't made one of these in a really long time so it was really fun to go ahead and, and make another one and then what I did was I just got some red and white baker's twine and I just tied a little tag from the collection I just cut a, uh, it was a little cut apart and I just cut it out and tied it um, with the red and white baker's, baker's twine and then I just have a couple little red um, bells jingle bells so I thought that was pretty cute, very simple, very cute. This one is a little more done up inside. Um, I have, what? I thought about this. I went and got a bunch of these candy canes, right, the big ones, and I was thinking, man, should I get the smaller ones because I might like wanna add them in pocket letters or something. Well, I need to go back and get them because I could have totally added one right here and it would've looked super cute. Again, I used the red and white baker's twine um, you could add Velcro here if you want to. I didn't. Um, oops, my little thing. My little... There we go. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. I didn't go crazy because I didn't want it to be too bulky. Um, I added a lot of things that they could use. So this is a cut apart. Nothing is stapled or, you know, adhered together. It's basically just clipped in there, and if they want to, they can use it on a little project. Um, I have some... Uh, sewn red crepe paper with a little cut apart. Um, this collection is the Bow Bunny Candy Cane Lane. And it kind of matches with the Bundled Up collection. So I have some things from Bundled Up um, with this. So, because I didn't have anything for this collection really. 
So this is a cut apart from Bundled Up, and inside here I have a little sequin mix. So I thought that was really fun. Um, and then I have these little house wood veneers. I just thought it was cute because, you know, where are you for most of the holidays? You know, you're home with your family. So I just thought this was cute um, to have little wood veneer houses. I attached four on the, you know, on some of the paper. And it just slides in like that. And then this is an example like you could, um, it even fits uh, your 3x4 Project Life cards. So you could do your mail tag on a Project Life card. You could write a little note, something like that. So that's that. And then I added this little wood veneer snowflake. Um, I just added a tiny bit of um, ATG gun tape. So if they want to, they can just pop it off and use it. I have these little cut aparts from the collection. I lightly adhered them again with the ATG gun tape so they can take it apart if they want to use it. And goes like this. And then I just have a gold paper clip. Everything they can use. You know, they could even reuse the um, envelope if they wanted so to. So now I'm going to share with you guys how to create um, a mini envelope flip book. And it's very, very easy. Um, actually, all you need is a 6x6 six six paper pad. If you look over here on the board, we're going to be doing a 3x4 um envelope which you only need a six by six paper pad or size of paper so that eliminates any cutting and you're just going to go ahead and create your envelope so it says that you're going to cut it at two and five eighths so basically right now all we're going to be doing is creating the envelopes If you don't have one of these tools, I'm sure there's templates or something you could use um, if you Google, you know, search it. Um, I'm sure you could find a, a template. So even on YouTube, I'm sure there's um, ways on how you could make your own little mini envelope. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and create our envelopes. I just think these are so, 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 so cute. I love them. I thought about the idea and I was like, I don't know, is that gonna look lame? Is that gonna look like dumb? But then when I made it, I was like, oh my gosh, these are the cutest things ever. Anything mini, I mean, come on. Anything mini is like, it's just, ugh. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and take whatever he adhesive you want. I'm sure maybe you could use wet glue. I like my ATG gun. So I didn't fold this part yet. We're going to do that in a minute. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a score line. Um, we're going to be creating, if you haven't seen my um, envelope flipbook tutorial, we're going to be creating a gusset because sometimes, you know, you just need that extra bit of room for whatever you're putting inside the envelope or any embellishments that you're going to be decorating the envelope with or the envelopes with. So uh, please excuse my dirty, ugly scoreboard. I've had this for as long as I can remember. I probably need a new one. Hopefully Santa will bring me one. Um, so yeah, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and, oh, if you see this little chart up here, I'm, well, I've gotten better, a lot better, but I'm super horrible at, like, you know, knowing, I mean, maybe I'm dumb, I don't know, but I know a lot of people aren't good with measurements and things. This really helps me. Uh, I don't know where I found this, but it's basically, like, a little chart that helps me, you know, figure out the little um, dashes in between, you know, like, six and a quarter, six and a half, six and three quarters, seven, you know. So it just helped me know the little tiny green um, dashes. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and show you guys where I'm scoring. So your crease of your envelope is going to end up at three and one eighth. And you're going to want to score at three and three eighths. Just like that. All right, so now you have all your envelopes scored and you're gonna wanna fold on the score lines. So now, um, figure out how you want to position your envelopes. 
And I think I'm going to do like this pattern. So now you're going to go ahead and take your adhesive and you're going to want to add, um, use your adhesive right above the crease line we just made. So like so, if you can see. And then you're going to take your um, the bottom of your other envelope and adhere it right above or right, I would say, not on the crease. Here, I'll show you. Kind of like that. See how it's it's just it's literally right on top of that crease line. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing to the other. Oops, and my mistake. See, I already made a mistake. Obviously, <laughs> you're gonna want to adhere the entire part of the envelope, not just, not just the um, <laughs> that one line. Okay, there. Yeah, we wanna we wanna adhere the whole top of the envelope, like so. And. And there is your mini envelope flip book. Isn't it adorable? It's so freaking cute. I love it. So now we're going to go ahead and decorate it. I'm not going to go super crazy. I have a few things that I have prepped already. Um, so first I have another sequin mix. These are really easy and you know fun to put together and they just slide right in there. I'm going to slide that right in there like this. And next I have um, these little mitten stickers. And see, like I said, I don't have a ton of Christmas stuff, but I still want to share. Um, so I went ahead and cut out two of the pairs of mittens that I have. Um, these are from Recollections last year. And um, I just have a little bit of adhesive, and I just stuck the acetate um, to the pattern paper. So it just gives a cute little presentation. And then these are just some green um, little jewels from Queen and & Company. And there you go, really quick and easy. And then if you want to, um, you can totally um, use some washi, which I think I'm gonna do right now. Let's get out my, my washi, okay. So I think I'll use this red because I love glitter. <laughs> I love glitter, um, what's it called? First of all, where are my scissors? Okay. I love glitter um, washi tape. I love glitter everything. So, just going to add. These are also cute that they can, you know, they'll use these too. You know, I just kind of tape those in there. Hmm. Just add a tiny bit of adhesive and adhere that wood veneer to the envelope so they can use that. Everything I want them to be able to use. And so I think I'll leave this one blank. And I don't know. Let's see what else I got. So this would be cute for like um, a currently or your mail tag. And I'm just showing you guys. I might give this to someone I might not. I don't know yet. So there, see? And even with the wood veneer, it's kind of bulky. So you have to be careful. Like you don't want to make it look too nuts. You know what I'm saying? Gonna go ahead and wrap those around. 
Okay, so this is what the mini pocket letter looks like. It's so cute. It fits in your hand. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.